Hello everyone and welcome back. When it's slowly leaving, it's time to ditch some of these clothing and heavy fragrances like this, like this, and like this. And it's time for these clothing like this, like this, and well, maybe not that. So in today's video, I'm going to give you 10 spring fragrances to set you up perfect for the spring. So stick around. First fragrance that we have up is from a new Middle Eastern fragrance house. And it's a brand that I'm telling you, jump on it now because number one, you're going to get compliments. And number two, before other reviewers get it and the price skyrocket. And that fragrance is vetiver pepper from the house of Aza. Now my first time wearing this fragrance is this girl told me, she like, I need to start giving away my secrets because it's too early in the morning for guys to be smelling the way they are. And she said that I smell nice today. Now this fragrance opened up with a blast of soft rose, then it transitioned into a nice red apple note in the heart. And then when it completely dries down, you're greeted with vetiver. You're gonna get some pepper. Now what's really interesting about this fragrance, well at least on me, I put a couple of sprays on my chest around my pulse points. So what I started noticing when I was lifting my shirt, I was getting like this earthy and peppery notes, but on the outside of my shirt, in the air, you get the sweeter notes of that red apple mixed with that rose. So it's very complex and the price was around 50 bucks. But if you add edge to your browser, it will automatically find a 12% discount code, dropping the price to the mid 40. So I'm telling you now, get this fragrance at price while you can. It goes perfectly for the spring. Very light fragrance that will project a couple of feet off of you and you will get at least eight hours with the first two projecting about two feet. A very sweet but earthy scent. Very nice fragrance to have from the house of Aza, better of pepper. Next up from the same house, and no, I'm not promoting this house, but I was very impressed from these fragrances and at the price point, you can't beat it. But next up we have from the same house, Lubab. Now get this, this one is even cheaper than the first one. They have different lines from the house. This was around maybe $35 mark. Now this opened up with Artemisia that makes it very herbaceous, almost green with a light spiciness to it, almost bitter, spicy green, clean, and then in the base, you're gonna get sweetness from the amber. Patchouli is listed in it, but I don't get any patchouli at all. It's very soft, but at the same time, it presents its presence. Another mass appealing scent that very unique with about one foot projection. Now this is one of those fragrances that you can overspray and no one would be offended by. This is one of those fragrances for special occasions, special events that will make you stand out from the crowd and make a statement. Another stunning spring fragrance from the House of Aza, Lubal. Hey Roscoe, tell him what you want to say. Well, he's shy, but if you liking this content so far, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. Please, it helped this channel grow so I can keep bringing you this kind of content. Up next, we're gonna go into the house of Mancera, and that is Wild Fruits. To be honest with you, I'm not really sure why this fragrance don't get much attention because it's very stunning. Now this opened up with a blast of citruses and fruits featuring the black currant note. Then when it dries down to the base, you get a very woody cedar note. They give it some sharpness to the fragrance and almost an inky note with that sitting beside a very clean musk. Picture silver mountain water with more fruits and woods. The cedar in this is very prominent. It's very woody. It's fruited with a little spice. If you love silver mountain water from Creed and don't want to pay that price for it, this will be a very nice alternative. A very clean, versatile fragrance to add to your collection. And that is Wild Fruits from Mancera. The next three fragrances that I'm presenting, when I think about spring, I think about these three fragrances. And those fragrances are Green Irish Tweed from Creed, Vintage Green 78 Banana Republic. And the next one is Moose Eliminar from the House of Rose. First, Green Irish Tweed. The fragrance open up with Vervain, and you're gonna get some lemon while you get some sprinkles of mint, giving it a bright grassy note. I don't pick up on any violet. Then it transitions to the base where you pick up on a heavy dose of ambergris and some light cedar. Now this is a classy gentleman scent that's fresh, it's bright, it's clean and woody. This is very much an everyday scent and can be used as a signature scent. If you don't want to spend this much on the fragrance, which they are expensive, you can get cool water 
instead. It's the same scent profile, but while Green Irish Tweed is smoother, Cool Waters is a little harsher and more metallic, but both would be nice for the spring. Next up, we have Vintage 78 from Banana Republic. When you think of this fragrance, think of everything that's bright, everything that's green. Now, when you first apply this, you greet it with some green leaves. You're also gonna get like a green tea note. In the heart, you get some fig notes, but this is not a juicy fig note. It's more like a fig that just started growing. You get a small whisk of mandarin, then in the base, that's when you're gonna get a nice clean musk. Now this is fresh, it's citrusy, it's woody, very clean. This is probably the best bang for your buck from this list for the spring. I can also see this being a signature scent for any age. It's very versatile fragrance for any time of the day. Next up, we have Mousse Eliminate. Now when you first apply this, you're gonna get that Artemisia that provides a fresh blast of spice. You get that tree moss and bay leaf that makes it very green, makes it very spicy. And then in the base, you're provided with cypress that add more green and a sharp cedar. Now this is pricey for the amount that you get, but in my opinion, it's very well worth it. You get some sweetness along with all that spiciness and green. Now with this fragrance, you will stand out from the crowd this may be for maybe a little older crowd, but it's very unique, it's very elegant, and I'm sure that you will enjoy it. Next up, we have Lalique White. Now this fragrance, there's nothing green about it. When you first spray this in the open, you're gonna get some very fresh and zesty notes consisting of bergamot and an almost bitter note of lemon. In the heart, you're gonna get some spicy cardamom that adds some sexiness to the fragrance. Then in the base, you will get some sharpness from the cedar. You will get a sweet and spicy amber mixed with some clean must on your dry down. The composition almost has like an inky note that will immediately put you in the mind of silver mountain water. Now this is very clean, very fresh, it's spicy, and it will garner plenty of compliments. Trust me on this. Next up, we have Agari Extreme. Now this once was a discontinued fragrance, I think. Now this is another fragrance I don't understand why people are not talking about because it's a hidden gem for the spring. Now if you want to talk about a performance piece, this is it. It opens with like a fresh citrus consisting of grapefruit. You're going to get bergamot. Then you're going to get some Neroli sprinkled in. And then the citrus is going to last throughout the fragrance. Add it into the heart, you get a blast of spicy notes including coriander. You get some cardamom and pepper. In the base, you get some cedar, you get some oat moss, and a tiny bit of musk. Now this is a spicy citrus fragrance that's green, it's clean, it's woody. This is my hidden gem. When I want to stand out, this is my go-to fragrance. It's very classy, very spicy, and very fresh. The next two fragrances are coming from the house of John Varvatis, and this is from a cheapy list. First we have Artisan Pur, then we have Artisan Blue. Artisan Pur. When you first spray this, you're gonna get citruses. You're gonna get that pedigree that adds spice to the citrus. And the heart is something that is giving it sweetness. I'm guessing it's from the iris, but it's not really powdery. Then in the base, you get some woods. It's not cedar, but it smells kind of piney, like a pine tree. It's citrusy, it's fresh, very easy to wear, especially for the office. Surprisingly, I get good performance from this. Very nice, easy, massive peeling fragrance to add to your collection. Last but not least, we have Artisan Blue. An appropriate name should have been Artisan Green because there's nothing blue in it. When you first spray this, you're gonna get some basil, you're gonna get some tiny hints of lavender. In the heart, that's when you get some spiciness from clary sage. In the base, you get some cedar and pine with a small touch of patchouli. Now this is very spicy, very clean, it's very green and it's very masculine. This smell almost like you are walking through like a forest with citruses growing to the side. Now the performance on this is decent. The first two hours, it, it was gonna last about probably six hours, but it's very appropriate for the spring. Another nice fragrance that's hardly get any love, but I love it. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed this content. If you have any questions, please leave them below. And until next time, peace.